The Panasonic GH5 is a brand new camera with a current maximum bitrate of 150 megabits per second for videos. However, in the next couple of months, a 400 megabit per second mode will be introduced with a firmware update. The concern is that some of the SD memory cards that work with GH5 now will no longer work in all modes after this firmware update is in place. Please note that 1 megabyte per second equals 8 megabits per second. When SD cards are rated with a speed like V30, V60, or V90, it is always referring to megabytes per second. However, the data rate for cameras is almost always given in megabits per second. The GH5 will shoot at 400 megabits per second or 50 megabytes per second after the update. That means a card of V50 or faster is required to prevent any write errors. The fastest UHS-2 memory cards typically cost at least twice as much per gigabyte as other slower cards. Right now, the fastest SD memory cards are all UHS-2 memory cards. These cards have a maximum bus write speed of either 156 megabytes per second or 312 megabytes per second, depending on how they are designed and how they are being used. Those cards have plenty of throughput to handle the video that the 50 megabytes per second firmware update will bring, but not all of those cards have a guaranteed V60 or above rating. The real concern is with UHS-1 cards. Those cards can either have a bus write speed of 50 megabytes per second or 104 megabytes per second. The issue is that Panasonic only chose to utilize the 50 megabytes per second bus type in the GH5. Therefore, even if a UHS-1 card can take advantage of the 104 megabyte per second bus type, the GH5 will still be limited to 50 megabytes per second with UHS-1 cards. Since that data rate exactly matches the throughput of the video that needs to be written to the card, it appears that all UHS-1 cards may be prevented from recording the new 50 megabyte per second video after the update. It may not matter that the UHS-1 cards can write at a sustained 50 megabyte per second or greater because the GH5 may limit them artificially to only 50 megabytes per second or less. Now what is unknown is if the buffer limit only applies to shooting stills or if video utilizes some other method that gets around the artificial limit. This would lead most people to just pay the extra money and get a UHS-2 card that is rated V60 or higher. However, I have a V90 rated Delkin UHS-2 card that has a severe issue with closing out current 4K at 60 frames per second video files that the GH5 can shoot. All of the UHS-2 cards that I have exhibit a ramping effect when they first start writing to the card over the USB. This may or may not be related to the long write times that I've seen with the GH5. The only card that I have that has never exhibited any of the write issues is the SanDisk 95 megabyte per second UHS-1 cards. They are rock solid and always maintain at least 80 megabytes per second when being written to over USB. They also never experience the ramping effect at all like the other cards that I have tested. However, these cards are UHS-1, so it is possible that the artificial limit that Panasonic has imposed on the GH5 would prevent the new 50 megabyte per second mode from working after the update. Honestly, your best option is to hold off on buying an expensive UHS-2 card right now if you just use it for video. Buy an inexpensive but high capacity SanDisk 95 megabyte per second card now with the understanding that the UHS-2 cards may be required in the future. When the update comes out, I'm sure plenty of people will test it in, with both UHS-1 and UHS-2 cards to figure out what works and what doesn't. Until then, I would not spend a bunch of money on UHS-2 cards unless you need those for burst of stills. They are essential for sports stills shooting. If you like this video, please rate it and subscribe. Also, there is something unique about this video. If you figure out what it is, please let everybody know in the comments.